Hey, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about apple cider vinegar. Uh, what are the benefits? What are the myths? First of all, here's the myth that apple cider vinegar contains a lot of nutrients. It really does not. It doesn't have a lot of vitamin A. It doesn't have a lot of vitamin C. It doesn't have a lot of minerals. What it does have is something even more important. In fact, the real reason why apple cider vinegar works for so many conditions has to do with this one thing it has called acetic acid. That's an acid. Um, and the reason why it works is, and this might go against a lot of philosophies out there, is that the body, most bodies that I come, I check in my office over many, many years are way too alkaline. Now, I know that goes against maybe what you've heard, that everyone's too acid, but that's not true. Um, you really have to, when you talk about pH, you really have to understand that every part of your body has a different pH. So if someone says, oh yeah, you're too acid, well, what pH are you talking about? The urine? Are you talking about the saliva? The real true um, indicator of pH for a body should be in the blood, but it's very difficult to test that because as soon as you take the blood out of the body, it alkalizes or it oxidizes and it can change the pH right away. So you have to, it's very expensive to determine that. So you have to go by symptoms. And so if you ever wanted to really know, just look up in, um, I don't know, Google it, all the conditions for uh, two acid called acidosis and look up for the conditions of alkalosis and all those symptoms and you'll be able to see which ones you have and you can determine based on those two factors. So what we're talking about is um, the blood pH here. Most people have a blood pH which is excessively alkaline and yes it's true that your blood should be slightly alkaline but in this situation it becomes even too alkaline. Okay? And that's why apple cider vinegar works so well because it changes. If you change the pH of your body just a slightly, just a slight bit, you can create huge effects because the pH is so important in transporting minerals and allowing uh, enzymes to work, uh, to stimulating the thyroid, to increasing metabolism, all these things. So let's just take a deeper look at this one acid, acetic acid. The pH of acetic acid is very acidic. It's 2.5. That's like almost like stomach acid pH. It's way down there. So it's really good for the stomach. People take it for heartburn. And by the way, heartburn, acid reflux, indigestion, that is a condition where your stomach is too alkaline and the valve on top does not close. And I know people say it's too much acid. No, it's not. In fact, if you have acid reflux or a heartburn, just take some apple cider vinegar and see how much better you feel. I mean, you'll feel wonderful because the valve will start closing on the top and the, stomach, the acid won't start regurgitating up through that valve. So it's good for GERD, acid reflux, and digestion. Okay? And as you age, especially over the age of 50, 60, 70, your pH in your stomach starts going lower, I'm sorry, it goes higher and higher and higher. So it becomes more and more alkaline. So you need more acid as you age to be able to digest protein and absorb minerals. Because if your pH is too alkaline, which most people have a problem with too, too much alkaline, they can't absorb calcium. They can't absorb minerals like they used to. So what happens, especially with calcium, is calcium starts building up in the soft tissues throughout the body. So you have the soft tissue calcification. I mean, you see that people that are getting older, they're getting stiff. They have arthritis, bursitis. They get calcium developing on the eyes. There's cataracts. On the joints, there's arthritis. On the nerves, there's neuritis. On the kidney is kidney stones, on the gallbladder is gallstones, um, and the teeth is tartar. That could come from a pH problem. It's an alkalosis, a systemic alkalosis, which is your whole body is too alkaline. One of the things that I like to do as well is uh, make sure they're taking the fat soluble vitamins to transport that calcium out, like vitamin D and K2. But in this video, we're going to talk about the pH piece of this thing. Now, what causes this alkaline state? It has to do with this, in this book, it's called Sibla Encyclopedia of Endocrinology, Volume 4, Frank Netter, MD. This is one of the main um, books that is used in medical schools, and it's a great physiology book to help you get some of the facts and how the body works. So right here, if you look on the page that talks about high cortisol, that's the stress hormone, it talk, it, high stress, high cortisol, causes alkalosis. It makes your body too alkaline. So unless you don't live on planet Earth, you might not have this problem, but most people I know live on planet Earth, they have a lot of stress, their bodies become too alkaline over time. The worst thing you could do is start drinking alkaline waters. Now, it's okay to drink water that's already alkaline, but don't try to alkalize it to an 8 or a 9 
or because you're going to make your body worse. Um, and then you won't be able to absorb calcium and things like that. So with adrenal, over like stress and high cortisol, you become too alkaline and you lose this little thing called H+. So if you ever taken calcium, I'm sorry, uh, chemistry, you'll notice that uh, H, H plus is an acid. So in other words, the adrenal causes you to lose acid through the urine and become too alkaline. So here's all the effects that stress can create. Uh, an alkaline body, which then blocks calcium. So you have all this calcium that plugs up everything, but it's unavailable to you. So you start getting the twitch in the left eye. You ever notice when people go get stressed, they have start twitching? You know what that, you know why that is? Because of, it changes the pH and the person can't absorb calcium. So then this is a calcium deficiency. So you could take calcium, but if the pH isn't right, it won't work. The best thing to do if you have that twitch is to drink apple cider vinegar, boom, drop the pH to make more acidic, the calcium gets mobilized and the twitch goes away. Cramping in the calf, apple cider vinegar is the best thing to mobilize the calcium and get rid of cramping in your calves. Nerve pain, neuritis, um, especially like migrating pain with arthritis that maybe it'll move from this joint to this joint to this joint. Oh my gosh, give them a little apple cider vinegar, they are happy. So, um, so with stress, you become too alkaline, you lose acid, and you lose potassium. And the only reason I'm bringing up this potassium, which is a little extra thing, is that alkaline bodies tend to um, have a, a, a potassium loss. And then when you lose potassium, you actually make the person more alkaline. So they kind of work together. Um, you know, people say, well, drink apple cider vinegar to increase your potassium. That's not what's going to do it. Apple cider vinegar will help increase your potassium because you'll stop losing the potassium and you'll, you'll make the body more acidic and like it should be. And so that will help the potassium. And just think about, look at this, potassium deficiency, high blood pressure, constipation, feeling of weakness, fatigue, irregular heartbeats. You know, when you hear these claims about apple cider vinegar curing all these different things, high blood pressure, constipation, weakness, irregular heartbeats, it's because of the, the retention of the potassium, because the chain reaction that occurs after getting the pH in the correct level. People that drink um, a lot of um, protein drinks or they eat too much protein, let's say they do the Atkins diet or they're doing this high protein diet, what happens, there's the waste from that um, protein, it's called guanidine, it's a chemical. Uh, very, 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 very alkaline, okay? And so <clears throat> that can cause twitching, nerve pain, and a lot of arthritis, okay? Um, even when you do like the ketosis diet and you're doing more protein, um, you may feel stiff, you might feel more arthritic. Drink some apple cider vinegar. It flushes this thing out so nicely. So apple cider vinegar is the antidote to the residue of high protein, or too much protein for your liver and your body. So it's a really good cleanser. So this acid, apple cider vinegar, helps absorb minerals, helps mobilize calcium, helps you digest protein better without the waste. It helps the immune system, and that's the last thing I want to talk about. Um, you've heard that people will take uh, like vitamin C for a cold, right, or for a virus infection. It's not the vitamin C necessarily that's creating the big effect because most people aren't even taking vitamin C. They're taking a, a vitamin C look-alike or a, a fake vitamin C called ascorbic acid, which is not really the true vitamin C complex, which again, I'll have people disagree on this video. Because um, they make, you can make synthetic vitamin C from ascorbic acid and cornstarch. Well, first of all, corn has no vitamin C. Cornstarch has no vitamin C. Ascorbic acid has no vitamin C. How can you take two things that don't have vitamin C, mix them together, and make ascorbic acid and think that's vitamin C? It's just, it's fake. The real benefit of vitamin C or ascorbic acid is the acid. You'd be much better taking the uh, acetic acid to help your immune system. If you get a cold, if you have a fever, uh, a viral infection, start taking the upside of vinegar. It's really, really important. So these are the true benefits of upside of vinegar because it acidifies an alkaline body. So in the next section, I'm just going to show you a little concoction that I make and I drink on a regular basis.
Okay, so let me show you how to make this. This is in my book, chapter 10. It's called The Cranberry Drink. It should be called The Apple Cider Vinegar Drink. Very simple, and you really should try this because it will help you lose weight. If you drank one of these before you ate three times a day, you would lose a lot more weight because it stimulates the thyroid and it acidifies the stomach. Um, the only thing that I would recommend if you, if you have a very slow metabolism is you may want to omit the cranberry juice. So you get the uh, Bragg's um, apple cider vinegar. I like this the best. And um, simply a teaspoon in some water. Actually, do two. Two teaspoons in the water before each meal. And some people say don't consume um, water before a meal, but we're a, which this is an acid drink, so it's going to help stomach acids. But check this out. This is my favorite lemon juice, Italian volcano lemon juice. It's organic lemon juice, and this stuff is magical. It's wonderful. And you get it from the health store. It's grown on these, um, these soils where these, the volcanic ash fertilized the soil. So you just do a teaspoon of this lemon right here. You don't have to use this lemon juice. You can use other lemon juice. You could use lemons. Um, I like that lemon juice because I'm spoiled. Um, cranberry juice. Make sure you read the back of the label and it just comes from whole cranberries. Because some people get the one that has um, extra grape juice or apple juice. You don't want that. Just do a teaspoon of this. And basically, this is your drink. Now, I like to, and this is just me, you don't have to do this. You can add uh, some ginger, and there's some ginger root that you can shred in there, and it makes it a little spicy. Um, I basically have um, this ginger extract that you can get. It's a liquid form. It's like ginger juice. And you put a little ginger, it's real spicy. Uh, there's a lot of great properties. It's a very good tonic. Um, again, um, if you can't stand the taste, chances are you probably don't need it. Okay? If you really need it, you will crave it, and it makes you feel better. So, but I really want you to try this. Real simple. Drink this before you eat, and watch how much better you feel. Okay, so go ahead and do this and uh, give me some comments below. I'll see you in the next video.